All three Baron types are now functioning on the PB with all their new hands and a bunch of new abilities. Apart from making the unique terrain in the Baron Pit, they also have one unique ability each and they share the rest. And apart from the different Baron Pit, you can tell them apart by their main head. The all seeing Baron has an extra eye and is the one with the tunnel, the hunting Baron is the one that leaves the pit unchanged and has a horn, and the territorial Baron is the one with the extra wall that doesn't have anything on his head. The buff is the same for all three. So they have resistant skin that makes them immune to debuff and their health increases every minute, and they also heal quite fast when you fight them. They also have void corruption, that when they put it on you, you get stacks of corruption, up to 100, and each stack reduces your armor and magic resist, and he will deal bonus damage to the champion with the smallest amount of stacks to even it out. He will also apply Baron's Gaze to the person tanking him, reducing their damage to the Baron by 50%, this is to prevent people from trying to solo the Baron. He's a lot more of a boss now. They even added dynamic boss music that changes when you fight Barons or Void creatures. His auto attack hits two people, he spawns spikes if you go behind him, and sometimes big spikes that also stun everyone hit, then he has the tentacle attack that knocks everyone hit up, vomits three pools of void soup on the ground that slow people that walk on them, avoid blast magic attack, and he also likes to punch people that are close to him with his many hands. Those are the shared abilities, apart from that each of the barons has a unique ability too. The all-seeing baron opens void rifts, on the tunnel pit that deal magic damage over time if you sit on them. The hunting baron fires void lightning strikes from above and the territorial baron pulls everyone near him with his many hands. I think they did a great job with them, I wish they made them a bit more visually distinct apart from one change on their main head though. Apart from that, now the buffs and scuttle work too. Initially they are normal, but after the baron spawns in minute 20 when they respawn, they respawn in void forms too, the buffs being harder to kill, but once you kill them you give the buff to your entire team and the scuttle is also harder to kill, but does a big reveal around when killed. That also puts enemy wards revealed at 1 HP. And then we have the new void grubs and void mites. The void grubs spawn at minute 5 and then at minute 9 if killed at 5. Once attacked, they throw cute little void monster void mites at you, and each kill of a void grub gives your team a true damage dot against structures, and at 6 stacks you also spawn void mites to attack towers too. And the new rift herald lets you ride it like a card from Nexus Blitz, but only one person may enter at a time, and is controlled like a cyan ult. And if you hit a tower while riding it, it deals more damage, and they also spawn void mites when they charge into towers now too. If you miss then they take some damage but you can hop back on and go again. And they also give you a shield when you get out. And that's about it for the new jungle monsters and barons. Pretty damn exciting changes I would say. This really is a big season with a lot of changes. Let me know what you think about the new baron and which one is your favorite. Leave a like or I'll throw purple void cheese at you. And thanks for watching.